We're reporting lately about bed bugs infesting apartments, homes, and hotels. And now some people in One Valley office say they're being bitten at work. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin looks into what's going on. Multiple employees at the TELUS call center on Decatur tell us they have some new unwelcome coworkers. It's horrible when we're starting to notice them walking across the desk. This is one of the employees who emailed us about the bed bugs at TELUS. We're masking his identity to protect his job. It's scary. It's, it's disgusting. And I just feel like that they can't care too much about the employees to, to know that this is becoming such a nuisance. Other employees were too scared to go on camera, but sent us pictures of the bugs and the bites they're getting just coming to work. I, I just feel like we should not have to be forced to stay somewhere, that we just don't feel comfortable working. This man and others say the problem is not getting any better, and they do not think management is doing enough. Bedbugs in the workplace might sound strange, but people at TELUS say there's plenty of places for them to hide, like in the fabric cushy bottoms of the chairs and on the fabric covered walls of their cubicles. A spokesperson for TELUS called us and said they've had pest control out seven times in the last 90 days. We take the problem very seriously. Obviously, the, the health and safety of, of our workforce is uh, of paramount interest to us. Um, and so we want them to know the steps we're taking to resolve this. They say pest control told them there is not an infestation and the bugs are being brought in from somewhere else. We understand that our staff are frustrated. Uh, we share that frustration and we just want to be sure that uh, we're doing everything we can to resolve the situation. What does the law say about this? Watch Action News live at 6. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. We looked into this after a viewer reached out to us, so if you have a story you'd like us to investigate, send an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please be sure to include your name and telephone number.